Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for students and teachers across the UK. These videos have a focus on geographical content and exam skill and they can be used at Key Stage 3, GCSE and A Level. In this particular video I'll be focusing on how our coastlines can be protected against physical processes such as erosion and longshore drift through using strategies such as hard and soft engineering. I will provide an outline of the following four hard engineering strategies. Number one, sea wall. Number two, rock armour. Number three, gabions. And number four, wooden groins. I will then provide an outline of the following two soft engineering strategies. Number one, beach nourishment, number two, dune regeneration and fencing. For both hard and soft engineering strategies, I will explain the positives and negatives of using each one. Hard engineering is a coastal management strategy which is used to protect coasts from erosion and flooding. These structures are usually very large and very visible along a coastline. A sea wall is a large concrete wall that runs the length of a coastline and reflects wave energy. The main advantages of using this strategy are number one, it is generally efficient, protecting cliff lines from being eroded and stopping coastal sediments from being flooded. The main disadvantages of using this strategy are number one, it doesn't fit in to the natural environment and number two, it is expensive to build. It costs up to £10,000 a metre to build and maintain. The strategy of rock armour, also known as rip wrap, is when huge boulders are placed along a coastline at the base of a cliff. These boulders pr protect the cliff from erosion by absorbing the wave energy. The advantages of this strategy are, number one, they are relatively cheap especially compared to a sea wall. The cost is about 100,000 per 50 metre stretch of the coastline. 
Secondly, the large boulders can look slightly more natural than a large sea wall. The main disadvantages of this strategy are number one, the large boulders are normally imported from other countries in Northern Europe. This can increase the price. Secondly, although this strategy is more natural than building a sea wall, the types of rock that are used are not normally similar to other rocks found in the area. So they can look naturally out of place. The strategy Gabions is a common site found along many coastlines of the UK. These are metal wire cages filled with small rocks. This strategy absorbs the wave energy protecting the cliff from being eroded. The advantages of this strategy are number one, for a hard engineering strategy, they are relatively cheap to build. And secondly, over a long period of time, vegetation will begin to grow within the gabions and the structure will slowly merge into a more natural local environment. The main disadvantage of this strategy is the metal wire cages normally only last for a few years because the metal begins to rust and the cages can break. can be constructed out of wood or concrete. The main purpose of a wooden groin is to slow down the process of longshore drift. The main advantages of this strategy are, number one, a little bit like gabions, wooden groins are not too expensive to build and maintain. And secondly, the biggest advantage of wooden groins is that by slowing down the process of longshore drift, the beach remains wide. And it's the beach which acts as a natural barrier at preventing erosion of the cliffs and flooding of settlements. The main disadvantage of this strategy is, by slowing down the process of longshore drift, Beaches become more narrow further along the coastline due to not enough sediment being moved along towards it. This can lead to coastal erosion 
and flooding of coastal settlements. Soft engineering is a coastal management strategy where the natural environment is used to help reduce coastal erosion and flooding. The strategy of beach nourishment is when sediment, sand or pebbles is taken from an area of coastline where there is little risk of erosion or flooding and the sediment is then transported and deposited along an area of coastline where a beach needs to be higher or wider. The advantage of this strategy is it's much cheaper to maintain than hard engineering. Secondly, it encourages tourists to visit the area which can boost the local economy. The main disadvantage of this strategy is that longshore drift will keep transporting sediment along the coastline. So unless there are structures such as wooden groins in place, beach nourishment will have to continue to keep happening. The development of sand dunes is a perfect way of creating a natural barrier to prevent erosion and flooding along a coastline. The advantage of this method are, number one, it is natural and it blends into the natural local environment. Secondly, it is cheap to develop and to maintain. The disadvantage of this strategy is that sand dunes can be damaged by large coastal storms. Thank you for watching my video on coastal management strategies. I hope it does support you in your geography lessons. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more geography videos just like this one, which will support, 
and guide you through your geography, GCSE or A-level.